Welcome to the hot and spicy. How are you doing? Um, you will have seen before this probably, uh, or if you haven't watched it yet, it's a walk we did today in um, Llanthwyn uh, in Anglesey and uh, visited a quick visit to um, an old mansion really uh, called Plas Newydd. You can see Pla as you come over the Anglesey Bridge, anybody's ever been off the A55, over the bridge, look to your left, you'll see it just on the Menai Straits there, beautiful place. I know how a bee feels now when it gets the nectar. The old ember nectar. Right, hope you've had a good week. Hope you're hungry. Hope you're loaded up with stuff. Um, hope the old choppers are going as we speak. Right, homemade pork ribs. Um, changed it up a bit. These could be very hot, I don't know. I bought, as you know in the video I made about making ribs, they were already sort of separated this was a rack of ribs and I cooked them as a rack of ribs um, I salted them pepper marinated them in peri peri uh, marinade hot marinade added three chilies added four cloves of garlic marinated them overnight then cooked them today two and a half hours and separated them not tried them yet, so we'll see. I don't know. Um, I've just cut them up now for this. Look at that. See the chilli seeds? This could be hot, but it's lovely inside if you can see the meat. I don't know. Right, here we go. Ready? That's a bone. Oh, yeah. Watch this. Oh, wow. All I'll say is, I changed, I cooked the same as I did in the video, but I salted them quite heavy. Marinated that, and then, um, oh yeah, the chilli's lovely, the sauce is nice. Oh, that's nice, really nice. Mm. Let's try another one, shall we? Oh, and the, and the meat, tender. Forgot to introduce some blushed. So they should be. Chunks. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. A bit of gristle, excuse me. Oh, yeah. I am certainly doing that again. The heat is not over because when I did it, I've used it's called Peri Peri. Is it Nando's Peri Peri Hot So Marinade? Um, beautiful smothered three chilies as I said I don't know the make of the chilies I bought them from Sainsbury's seeds and everything in crushed well finely chopped four cloves of garlic mm. smothered that and then um Left them overnight. Does lose a bit of heat during the cooking, but now, oh, it's just just that you know that if you eat hot stuff, just like that tingle in your mouth, beautiful. Doesn't take away from the pork taste. Nice marinade. And all that sea air has made me hungry.
Oh, well, I remember. Someone said, can we see the rest of the shirt? Yes, you can. This is the top bit. It goes white. It gets to there. You can see. So that <laughs> That's what it looks like. Thirsty tonight. So that's sea air and salt. Beautiful day. I tell you what, you couldn't have asked. It was quite nippy, but the blue skies, cloudy, but blue sky sun was shining, and it was lovely. Really nice. Good day for a walk. Lovely area there. Newborough Forest went in there, absolutely stunning forest. You have to pay, there's a gate lady there, four pound entry. Well worth it, well worth it. Even there's walks in the woods there, beautiful. There's red squirrels there, um, which was our native squirrel. Life is good, I tell you. Really busy day today, but thoroughly enjoyed it. Is it been away? You know, as you know, I filmed that, edited it, uploaded it. I had to cook these, as I say, two and a half hours, and um, get ready to film this. And you know, everything's got a time, and but I enjoy it really enjoy it I meant to do this now as a bit of a, a shout out to someone um, last week and I forgot and I apologize um, just to say I hope Julie Mack if you're watching I hope you're having a good recovery um, I apologize I never I meant to say it last week actually but um, I forgot yeah so all the best to you Julie with your recovery just to hope you Hope you're doing okay. Right. Look at the head and that. If that was served to me in a purpose, hey, top it up, will you? Oh, beautiful. What, you want a bit? Go on then, have a bite. God, bend it. Yeah. I should start a... <laughs> Imagine the hot wings and pork ribs and chicken and... I better do well. I did bring, um, this isn't the same stuff, this is just like a hot sauce you add to the meat after. Well I cooked them in, it was a marinade. Uh, and I thought well I'll bring some of this just in case I need something on top but beautiful, perfect as they are. Have you done anything nice this week? Or have you like um, like me just working? Yeah, beautiful day. What a change because it was, it was. We've had a few days of um, <clears throat> temperatures, as in temperatures go went that low. You know, just below freezing. But um, God, the wind made it. Uh, and we've had it, you know, in this country we get a really damp coldness and it goes to your bloody bones, it does. Um, we think you get used to it. You, well, you do get used to it, but uh, it's still a bloody news. <laughs> but, um, 
just a bit of news talking of a uh, hot and spicy and you remember my chilli scotch bonnets well, if you're new to the channel or whatever I've grown my own last year um, with great success I'm not a gardener I'm doing very little but I've grown tomatoes with great success again and I've said I'm going to try maybe this year but I expect not to do as well. I think that's sort of how it goes in gardening. It may not be true, but some things, you know, you do well one year and may not do so well the next. So I wouldn't be that disappointed if I didn't do well, if I grow them. But anyway, I'm going to tell you. I wintered it. And all I did was I took some advice from a, a chilli, well, a, well, chilli professional. Uh, certainly uh, knows what they're doing growing chilies. They said all you've got to do is cut it back to a stalk, leave a few um, where there's, I don't even know the terminology, uh, bits, that, you know, branches, whatever, stems coming out, just leave a couple. So I did and I've kept it damp. It's in the conservatory where they grew in the summer. And um, I've got some new sprouting leaves starting, so I'm chuffed a bit, if it works. So I'll try and grow them again from the same plant. We'll see. Keep you updated. Mmm, lovely. Some of the views today. <laughs> I said to, I said to um, Mrs. A, when we were driving through New Newborough Forest, if you haven't been there and you like walking, you love woods, honestly, it's worth going. Um, it was quite busy there today. It's Saturday. Right, I think it's the last, well, tomorrow's the last day for the children. They're on um, half term, is it? I think they go back Monday. But um, I tend to go places in the week, you see, not on a weekend. But I have to go when Mrs. H is free, when we go together. And um, worth a visit. And there's a chance there you'll see the red squirrel. Um, there's lots of walks and paths in the woods. We didn't touch them today, but we, you drive through the woods to the car park, you see. Beautiful place. There's camper vans there. There's a cafe there. Like a mobile um, tea van. Toilets. <coughs> Fantastic place. Uh, really enjoyed it, we did. And um, I said we'll have to go back. Oh, well, I'm definitely going back. And I was saying, I'm sorry I didn't take my stove. Parked up in the car, stove out. You could have done a bloody good fry up there. Or a cup of tea, you know what I mean? Cup of tea, sat there, listened to the sea. Sand music. Children loving it, playing. Falling over. And that's what it's all about. It was a joy to see that. There's like a sandbank like that. The kids were climbing and falling down. Oh, fantastic, you know. Because, you know, it's sand and it can't hurt that much. You know, what we should be doing, mucking about and playing and enjoying it. And dogs were bloody up and down. <laughs> yeah, nice. There's some good fish in there. Hot and spicy on the beach. Good camping out. Well, I don't even camp there. You might have to do it to, but what a view, the beach, fire in a stove, oh. catch your fish, cook it, oh. giving people ideas, don't they? See the chilli seeds? It's the, as you can see, you know, even though, when I cook this, I always cook it with foil on. And the last 15 odd minutes, 
file off and let it, you know, look at that. Mm. When it comes off the bone like that, you know you've hit the goal. You've won the lottery, as in pork rib lottery. Oh yeah. The hot and spicy lottery this. Mm. Anyway. I know time flies. And I'm running a bit later tonight. But we got there, we managed it. We managed the sunburst. So I'll finish them. There's only about, well there's three there. One of them's got two bones there, so I think. No, one. Oh, that one has it. Well, it's got one. Which one's got two bones in it? What one's it? No, no. Anyway, one, two, three. <coughs> and uh, as I say, to cook them, must have come off the bone. Smashento, Smashento, Lashentos. Um, <coughs> I nearly forgot. Sorry, uh, I'd have um, Natalie sending the solicitors around for incompetence. Uh, roast duck breasts tomorrow, skin on, crispy, and um, mushy peas, carrots, steamed potatoes. After I steam them, I only use a, I got like a pan, steaming pan, which you put on top of a saucepan of water. And uh, I must admit they cook quicker and the taste is much better than boiled. For me, uh, really nice. So steamed potatoes, carrots, mushy peas, roast duck, crispy skin, seasoned. Gr Lashentos, I don't know if I <laughs> Lashentos of gravy. Surrounding the duck, not over it because of the crispy skin, and then you cut the duck into bite sized pieces, including the top of the crispy skin. You dip in the gravy and then proceed to enter the grub tunnel. Thank you very much. So, thanks for watching, and hope you have a fantastic uh, Saturday night, Sunday. And uh, as always, thanks for your support and um, stay in good health, stay happy, eat loads of spicy food and uh, enjoy yourselves. <laughs> so thanks for watching it and I'll see you in the next video, whenever that may be. Probably sooner than you'd like, maybe, I don't know. Take care. Good timing actually. Top up.